Hello, listener. This is Amy Pavi, and 12 Chimes is Midnight. I'm excited for the new year and about having a new, original play for you this evening. My goal is to produce a few new plays a year, so I hope you'll stick around for more 12 Chimes in the coming months. And stick around at the end of this episode to hear a trailer for Burning Gotham, a new audio fiction series that takes place in 1835 in New York, the fastest growing city in the world, and about the opportunists who shaped it. And now, as the clock begins to chime midnight, turn off your lights and settle in for a new story. Twelve chimes. It's midnight. At midnight, anything can happen. Have you ever had one of those days? The kind of day that leaves you feeling out of sorts when you're not even sure where you are or how you got there, then perhaps you can relate to tonight's tale. Join us now for a story of a woman having just one of those unsettling days in the play Mind the Loop. More coffee, Pete? <laughs> no, no, I'm good. Well, I'd have opted for champagne, but uh, coffee will have to do. My books would still only be ideas if it wasn't for coffee. If that's what you need to stay productive, my dear, I say stick with it. Laura, here's to you. My favorite author. Coming from my agent, you flatter me, sir. Laura, you are a truly brilliant writer. And you know it. <laughs> there is no one quite like you. Thank you, Pete. The Corridor to Fear. Ah, what a book. The critics are simply raving. It's not such a bad book, is it? (laughs) Write another one is good, and I'll be able to buy a new house or two. Uh, Or maybe an old one. You don't like it. What? The house, I mean. Well, like you, my dear, it has its charms. Oh, it just needs a little elbow grease applied here and there. Well, if anyone can do it, you will make this house a masterpiece. Well, not everything in this house needs work. Look right there. Look, that chandelier is perfect. (laughs) I bet you even money. That's the only light in this place that's working. Oh, you know that's not true. You have enough candles, do you, to get you through the week? Oh, (laughs) Pete. Seriously, you could have had your pick of houses. Why buy this ancient one? This house has a history. You know, it has a soul. It has secrets. And a lot of character. <laughs> Some of which, well, you can easily paint over. Pete! I'm oh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> I'll stop. All right, I will admit there is one thing that can't be restored. That uh, definitely has to go. There had to be something. The wallpaper. The wallpaper? I just can't put my finger on it, but there is something wrong about it. Well, I I, I, I agreed, yeah. Mm -hmm. I am definitely starting with this god-awful yellow wallpaper. (laughs) (laughs) Laura, you've owned this house for, what, all of ten hours? How is it still on the walls? I wanted to think about it. Maybe I'd get used to it. I don't want to change everything. You're not obligated to keep it pristine. You've got to make it yours. You're right, of course. All right, look, I've got an appointment in a bit, but... I could swing by tomorrow and help you take it down. We could uh, make a day of it. You know what? Uh, hand me that letter opener. Here. Thank you. What are you doing? It's coming down right now. Don't try to stop me. Me? Oh, oh, go crazy. No time like the present, like you always say. Ha! 
There. Now there is no going back. <laughs> <laughs> That's a spirit. Whew. What's that? What? That thing, what is that right there? Oh, maybe it's a repair? Yeah, maybe. Is it a door? It looks like it is. Help me. There. Now what? Well, we need to remove this plaster seal. I wonder why they covered over this door. Was it mentioned anywhere during the sale? It was not. What's on the other side? Just another room. <sighs> My office, actually. And a door. There's a door just on the other side of this one. Yeah. Looks like I've got connecting doors between these rooms. But why would the previous owners plaster over this one? I don't know. Lots of reasons, I suppose. Although I like being able to walk straight through to my office. Uh, no champagne, but I have screwdrivers. Here, I'm putting you to work. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I told you, I have an appointment. Well, this shouldn't take long. But if this work is too rough, you can supervise. Ho, 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 ho. Playing on my masculine insecurities? Come on, a mystery door. We have to open it. No, 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 just don't get ahead of yourself. It's a shallow closet. Huh. That makes sense. What does? Well, the door on the other side in my office also leads to a very shallow closet. I didn't imagine there was one on this side, though. Uh, well, so much for connecting doors. Mm, not so fast. These wooden slats along the back of the closet don't seem terribly solid. So what's your plan? I could just remove them. Et voila! Ah, careful now, careful. Dang it. I said be careful. I'm all right. I can only get the bottom few boards off. The rest won't budge. I can come back with a crowbar tomorrow. I can't see a thing in here. What are you doing? It's hard to see with the remaining boards blocking the light. Watch out. Watch out. You'll, you'll cut your hand on a nail or something. Oh, there could be spiders. I'm playing on my feminine insecurities, Pete. Laura, please come out from there. Hang on. This is weird. Let me find you a flashlight. Uh, I don't think I have one. Weird. What? There's no wall. It keeps going. What, uh, what, what do you mean? Seems to go back pretty far. But that's impossible, isn't it? Laura, for God's sake, come out of there. This is unbelievable! It's so dark. Pete? Well, this, 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 this can't be possible. <laughs> Where am I? Oh my god. The door. Open! Help! Help me!
Hi. Laura? I'm in the office. Are you okay? <gasps> I don't understand. What just happened, Pete? I, I walked along a hallway. A hallway? A hallway between the living room and that door there. I see. What do you mean, you see? I don't even know what I'm talking about. Let's go back into the living room. I'll pour you a drink. I came out of this door. I know, I know. There should be a long hallway. Let's get you that drink. Pete, there was a long hallway here. Come on now. Pete. Where did the hallway go? I, I just need to sit down a minute. Just give me a minute. I want to finish my coffee. Coffee? You want me to make you some coffee? Where's my coffee? There should be some tea left. Hey, let, let, me, let me get you a drink. Here. Pete? Yeah? Where's my coffee? We've been drinking tea. No, we weren't. <sighs> Pete? Look at me. What? You want another drink? Look at me. Okay. Your hair. Is your hair different? Please sit down. Well, avoiding confrontation. At least we know that's the same. Let me get you another drink. Enough with the drinks. Why are you so calm? I just walked through some damn... something. What? Where did that cabinet come from? I put it there. When? Forget the cabinet. Just sit down. Well? I think it's a portal. What is a... what? It sounds crazy, but... I think you just walked through an interdimensional portal. You came from your universe into this one, mine. Who are you now? H.G. Wells or something? Yes, that sounds crazy. I know. I should be more open-minded, right? I mean, I just walked through an impossible hallway between two adjacent rooms. I know. They're separated by a wall. We're, what, we're talking two, three feet tops. But I walked through a hallway, Pete. A I, hallway. I know. You know. You know. How do you know? Pete, how do you know? It's happened before. What? It's true. Incredible, but true. I've been here before? No. No. Not you, exactly. What do you mean? Another you. Very similar, but different. In small ways. Uh, another me? Yes. Well, where is she? Not here. I expect her back soon, though. What do I do now? You have to go back. Where will that lead? I don't know. Can't I stay here? I'm afraid not. You can't both exist, uh, well, in the same world. How do you know? You've had your drink. Now you need to leave. Leave? Where? Like I said, back through the portal, the corridor, the damn hallway, whatever it is. You must be joking. At best, I go through and meet another you and maybe get forced out again. Perhaps the next world doesn't have a Laura. But there's no way to know, is there? Oh, look, I don't know how it works. Or, or where you go. I, I, I can't. Pete, I can't. You need to go now. How do you know? I. How do I know what? What will happen? Because I've seen it. Seen what? There are two. There are two. And then before you can blink, poof, there's one. Where did she go? The other Laura. I don't know where they go. They just, I don't know. They just go. Th hey, how many Lauras are we talking about you here? You need to leave. I'm sorry, but I can't risk it. I can't risk Laura's existence. I'm Laura. Ah, but not the right Laura. You're not my Laura. Let go of me! I'm sorry. 
But when you entered into this unknown, you knew something was wrong. Oh, you knew something was wrong, didn't you? But you pushed ahead because that's what you do. That's what Laura's do. Laura's? You are leaving now. Pete, please put down the gun. Look, I I could walk out the front door. Leave right now. Disappear. Start a new life. It doesn't work like that. You have to go. One way or another. Who says we can't both exist in this world? Oh, every time. Every time I pray, it's the last. Please, tell me I'm dreaming, Pete. I'm sorry. I wish you'd... None of you had ever found this portal. Please. Get up. Okay, Pete. Okay. I'm getting up. You see that cabinet? Yes. Just push it to one side. What are these grooves along the floor? Pete, how many times has this cabinet been moved? Just shut up and move it aside. All right, open the door. How many have there been, Pete? It doesn't matter. It matters to me! Uh, Open the door. Just open the door! Move! Do you have a flashlight? Just move, move, move! I'm afraid! Uh, Look, Lavda, keep moving. She'll be back any minute. Keep moving, or I'll have to shoot you! Pete, I... Just (gasps) go! happening? The door out. Out into what? And where? Wait. What if I went back through the first door? Might that take me back to my starting place? Maybe? Can't hurt to try. Unless Pete shoots me. None of this makes any sense. So I might as well explore the only other option I have. (sighs) Okay. Instead of moving forward, I go back. Through the hallway, and then back through the first door. Shoot! I'm coming back through! Laura, what do you mean, don't shoot? Pete? You're back. Oh, Pete! I I was worried. Are you okay? I suppose so. Oh, Pete, is it really you? Oh, it's, it's me, all right. Are you okay? How long have I been gone? Long enough. You're... You're okay, though. I am. I'm so glad to see you. Here, sit down. Let me get you a drink. Oh, that's okay. I've had one. What? You know, you know, I, I, I could use another. Whiskey, please. Okay. Here. Thanks. You look... Are you okay? Not really. Laura, what were you doing in there? I'll tell you all about it someday. I just need to be here. With you, just be here. All right. We need to reseal that door. Well, I can cancel my appointment. Uh, We can do it this afternoon. Thank you. Can I get you anything? Do you want some water? No, I'm fine. I'd like the rest of my coffee. Where's the coffee cups? The what? The coffee cups. What coffee? We were drinking coffee. Well, earlier, yeah. I took the cups into the kitchen. Right. Good. Good. 
Really, Laura, you... But you look... I don't know. I look like what? I don't know. You... You look like you've seen a ghost. Not a ghost. Hey, Pete? Yes? Your sweater. My sweater? The, this sweater? It's blue. Weren't, weren't you wearing a different sweater? A green one. Laura, are you okay? Maybe you should lie down. I can call a doctor. What brand of whiskey is this? Come to think of it, I didn't have any whiskey in the house. What are you talking about? What about that table? It is not in the right place. We moved it with the rug. Did we? Everything looks different. Everything looks different! What are these? They don't belong here! They don't belong Lord, here! calm down. You're here with me now. Everything is all right. Everything looks different! You look different! Laura, what's the matter? I don't know where I am, Pete! What do you mean, where? Where am I? Where am I? Where am I? Where... Who's there? Who is that? Laura? I'm back! No, 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 no. Laura! No, 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 no. Tonight's episode was written, directed, and produced by Amy Pavi. Heard in tonight's play were Beth Damiano as Laura, and the other Laura, and Dana Kelly Jr. as Pete, and yours truly, Josh Horowitz, as your host. Additional music, Dangerous Swing, was by Blue Dot Sessions, sourced from the Free Music Archive, and additional sound effects were sourced from freesound.org, both under Creative Commons licensing. If you enjoy our plays, please subscribe and leave a review on iTunes or wherever you listen to podcasts. You can also drop us a line via email. The address is in the show notes. We'd love to hear from you. Thank you for listening, and... See you again at midnight. This November, experience New York City like you've never before. The speculation is out of control. The whole economy is going to collapse. Gentlemen, gentlemen. Will you make the right deal? Memories are short in New York. If you don't make a fortune, someone else will. I know you've been bringing rosemary into port illegally. I have eyes and ears and noses and <laughs> tongues everywhere. Or fall to greed. If I was caught with diamonds at any time, any time, my sister and I would have been gang raped and murdered. I do this for you. Well, look at what we got here, brick top. Looks like we caught as a dandy and a whore, all alone on South Street with nowhere to hide. Ain't that right, boys? But whatever you choose. There's a choice. You just always make the same choice, the one for yourself. Just make sure you get out in time. Lord have mercy on us all. Coming this November to your favorite podcast app. Yeah. Burning Gotham, the new audio fiction soap opera about the fastest growing city in the world and the opportunists who shaped it. To find out more, go to burninggotham.com. <laughs>